Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, we'll try to find the shuttering quantity for the first floor level. So if you remember in the ground floor, we had done the shuttering, isn't it? The plinth level. Here also same procedure you need to adopt, but here it will be completely different. The reason behind, I'll tell you. Okay. The reason being, if you see the shuttering of the, this thing, see, plinth beam is already done. So this is a uh, first floor, let us say, centering work is going on. Okay. So for the beam previously in the uh, plane beam, what used to happen, you had the depth, you take the length, you multiply by the depth, you are going to get the answer. But there was no bottom, uh, there was no bottom in the plane beam. Whereas in the first floor and all, if you observe it carefully here, if you observe it, uh, let me show you one image. Yeah, if you see it here, see, you will be putting up the beam bottom. So beam bottom will come. Then after that, after beam bottom, your this thing will come. That is a. Uh, Your beam bottom is going to come. After that, your outside shuttering will come. If you see here, not here, uh, even not here. Yeah, uh, yeah. You can see here. This shuttering will come. Okay. One is inside shuttering, and then another. This is inside shuttering. You see, beam bottom is coming. This shuttering is coming, and on this side also this shuttering is coming. So beam bottom, beam inside shuttering, and sometimes it is beam outside shuttering. When I say beam outside shuttering, it means this part. Okay, here. For example, this is beam bottom. This is by beam inside shuttering. Whereas if I put a shuttering on this side, there is no slab out this side. There is no slab. So it becomes my outside shuttering. And you know that in my construction methodology or site engineer course, I've explained you that always the outside shuttering will be going full and inside shuttering will be the beam depth, uh, beam overall depth minus the slab thickness we are supposed to do. I'll explain you all those things. You got the concept. This is how your shuttering has to be found out. Okay. So you see, the beam bottom is there. This is beam inside shuttering because we have slab here. And this is also beam inside shuttering because we have slab on this side. Okay. Got it. So in this way, you're supposed to take out the quantities of all this uh, beam part. So in this way, all the quantities we are going to take out. So you got the fundamentals clear. So once that is clear, we'll start with the drawing now. Okay. So first we'll start from this particular beam. Okay. Uh, I'll start with one by one. So first I'll go with a very easy beam. We'll go with FB4. Okay. So in FB4, what is the dimension? This FB4 dimension already I've written and kept, but here you can see it is 1,800. So what all things will come? Just imagine beam bottom is going to come good. Then beam this side, you're going to put shuttering and here also you're going to put shuttering, isn't it? So this is my outside shuttering. Why it is outside shuttering? Because if you see, I don't have slab in this part. If wherever there is no slab, it becomes my outside shuttering. So this part will be my outside shuttering. In the same way, you see in this part also. In this part also, there is no slab. What do you mean by X? X means cut out. Cut out means there is no slab. That means if there is no slab, your beam shuttering will be going complete height. Isn't it? So how do you do the calculation? I'll explain you here itself uh, so that we can do it. Okay. Yeah. So first I'll write it here. So first what will happen? Beam bottom will calculate. So how we are going to find beam bottom? So in the Excel sheet only I'll do it is easy for me. Okay. Yeah. FB4. Okay. I've written it here. See FB4 length. We got 1800. So your width beam width is 0.2 and beam depth is 0.35. All these things you're supposed to write. Okay. Now come to this part. So I'll do one thing. Yeah. I'll do it here only. No problem. Okay. Let me explain you in this way. I'll go with BB, uh, FB4. First, I'll explain you the simple method. Then we can go with a complicated one. Okay. It will take some time for you to understand. Other than that, it's easy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for your understanding, I'm doing this. So what is the length of that? So it was 1.8. Now I'll write here 1.8. Okay. So I'll divide my beam shuttering in three parts initially, but later in single Excel sheet, I'll teach you first understand the concept. One beam bottom will come and here both the side it is outside shuttering. So I'll return here beam bottom, beam outside. And here also it is beam outside two times beam outside will come. So 1.8 is a length breadth. I know depth is 0.35. Can you find the beam bottom? Beam bottom will be the length multiplied by the width. So I'm doing the same thing here. So I'll do that. 
plus open the bracket okay what is the length of your beam it is 1.8 and if i multiply by the width i'll get the beam bottom part always remember beam bottom will be length multiply by the width okay that means i'm getting this particular part which part this part i got this part this part okay or i'll show it in this way Okay, it's taking some time. Okay, let it take some time. I'll show you. Okay, fine. Beam bottom is done. Now we'll come with the beam outside shuttering. Okay, for beam outside shuttering, again, length remains the same. For outside shuttering, you have to take the complete depth of your beam. Again, I'll write 1.5 here. Okay, and since we are finding shuttering quantity, it will be in square meter. So width will be 0 0.3, depth will be 0 0.5. So my outside shuttering will be always remember whatever is the length you have to multiply the length by the overall depth what is the overall depth 350 so multiply this by 0 0.35 and close the bracket done so your beam outside is done now in this particular case in this particular drawing what is happening both it is outside here also it is outside this part also it is outside since there is a cutout complete depth of your beam will be casted so this will be outside okay since both the outside is there I'll not write again. I'll not write again 1.8 into 0 0.2, 0 0.3. What I'll do, I'll multiply this by two times. I'll give two here. Okay. You're getting my point. This is not required. I'll take it out. I'll take all these things out. Not required. Okay. Fine. So, these things also, I'll take it out. We'll delete all these things. Not required. Yeah. Fine. So, I'll multiply this by two. This is for one. 0.630 is for one beam I got. I mean, for one part I got. On the other side also, we have. So here what I'll do, I'll multiply it by 2. This, I have multiplied this answer 0 0.6300 into 2. If I do, I'll get 1.260. So therefore, the total shuttering, how much it will be? So for the total shuttering will be how much? You tell me, you have to add both of things. Okay. Like I can come here. I'll go with auto sum. Yeah. It will add both. Enter. So the total shuttering will be 2.70 square meter. Got it? So this is how we are supposed to take care of your shuttering part. So for FB4, I have explained you. Okay. Now, this is one case. This is case number one. Okay. Whenever you have a beam where both the side you are shuttering, you will go complete height. Then you have to adopt this method. Okay. Don't get confused. It's very simple. Now I'll go with another one. Okay. I'll go with FB1. Okay. Now we'll start with FB1. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll teach you one more method instead of this. Now, this is one way of doing other way of doing is that don't write in this way in one single excel sheet in one single row you want to finish it that means i'll write like fb4 beam i'll control and i'll write here you'll get the same answer don't write beam bottom beam outside beam inside and all fb4 you have written it is 200 by 350 these things remains the same just copy all these things i'll copy and i'll write it here okay yeah okay so what all things you have written square meter one number 1.8 is a length breadth is 0. And depth is 0.35. Now you have to imagine. First, what always remember first will be your bottom. For bottom, I want the length. So it is 1.8. I'll multiply this by which one? Width, no? Width is 0 0.2. Finish. Fine. One is done. Plus, again, open the bracket. Now, outside shuttering we have. So again, length remains the same. Take 0 0.1.8. Multiply by overall depth. See, overall depth, it's not visible here. So what you do, no? I'll tell you. Sometimes in Excel sheet, this problem occurs. What I'm trying to tell is, see, this we did, no? Okay, it didn't work out. Fine. So 1.8 multiply by 0 0.2. Fine. Yeah. Plus, open the bracket. Again, you take the length. You multiply by the depth. So first, I'll take depth. If I take length, no? See, it won't be visible. So that is why what you do in Excel sheet, whenever you are doing, just be careful that open the bracket, take this depth part first okay depth you multiply by the length okay so you multiply by the length so I multiply so i'll multiply this by two because one on this side one on the other side no so that is why i'm multiplying it by two i'll close the bracket now you check the answer okay you should you should have got the same answer no? yeah 0.35 why it's not coming
we should have got the same answer because say, let me recheck it okay let me do that see 1.8 multiply by 0 0.2 width part is 10 plus again 1.8 Again, 1.8 multiply by overall depth. Overall depth is 0 0.35. Okay. And this I'll multiply it by two times. So 1.62 I'm getting. Then this answer is wrong. Let me verify. Then here somewhere we have done mistake. We'll check it out. So this will be 1.8 into. Okay. See here. Here one mistake has happened. 0 0.8 I have written. No. It should be 0 0.2. Now it should be correct let us okay multiply by 0 0.2 okay yeah fine see answer is matching no 1.62 you got and here also 1.62 so this method you need to adopt now not this one don't write beam bottom beam inside beam outside it will take long time okay just in a single thing you have to follow this got it yeah now i'll give you i have done everything but i'll teach you some complicated beams now we'll try to do shattering quantity for this beam first i'll explain it just imagine you need to just imagine in this part that's it rest all thing is very simple so my beam shattering will be completely okay in this way i'll take okay now of course beam bottom will come so your beam bottom length is 4.995 you multiply by the width of this beam your beam bottom is done next here outside shattering will come why i'm calling outside shattering because there is no slab in this part so wherever whenever there is no slab adjacent to your beam you have to call it as outside shattering so this becomes my outside shattering whereas this shattering whereas in this part in this part okay it's going to be outside shattering no why because you have a slab how can i identify that there is a slab you have you, they write it in this way s1 s2 you can see s2 is written that means here slab is there fine so whenever you find the depth of this you cannot take directly 0 0.35 what you're supposed to do whatever is a depth from there Whatever is the thickness of your slab that you need to detect. Now, thickness of the slab in this project, everywhere it is 150. Whether it is S1, S2 or S3 slab, it is 150. Your overall depth is how much? For FB1, the depth is 350. So, 350 minus 0 0.15 will be 0 0.2. So, here the depth of your beam inside, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, the depth of your shuttering, inside shuttering will be 0 0.2. Getting my point? If you are still not convinced, if you I'll, I'll explain this for someone who doesn't understand okay yeah so i can explain it uh, with some of these images yeah for example see here if this becomes my inside shattering why because a slab is going to come here so whatever is a depth this is the depth of my beam let us say the depth of my beam was 350 depth of my beam was 350 okay and your slab thickness was 150 so you can see this height this height, whatever we have, no, it is not 350. Then how do you find this becomes inside shattering? So this height will be overall height. Overall height was how much? Depth of the beam, 350 minus whatever is my slab thickness that I need to do. So whatever answer I get, no, how much I'll get? I'll get 200. So this will be the 200 will be the height of my inside shattering. Getting my point? This will be 200. Got it? So practically the carpenter will cut a 200 mm board and then he's going to fix. Now you'll ask me one question. Sir, then what about that remaining 150? Remaining 150 will be casted along with the slab. When you do the slab casting, no, this 150, whatever is missing in this part, along with the slab only, that will be casted. That is why we call slab and beam as a monolithic casting. Okay, got it? Very clear? Yeah. So if you want, see, finally it will look like this. Yeah. If you're confused, no, just see this image, you'll get to know. Yeah. Finally, it will look like this. See, this will be your inside shuttering. This also it is inside shattering because slab is on this part, slab is on this part. This is my beam bottom I found, beam bottom I found and this, okay, I'll, I'll show you one more image for that matter. Here, uh, okay, fine. This is also okay. See, uh, no, we'll show something which is, uh, yeah, this is fine. Okay, you can observe in this part. So, this you see here, yeah, whatever depth these people have put, no, yeah, this is actually how much the total depth of this beam minus the slab thickness, this height, and here also this height. 
okay now that remaining portion when you do the slab casting no it will be together casted with that okay you're getting my point so that is why it is called as monolithic casting got it the same thing everywhere it's same thing so again this becomes my inside shuttering this also becomes my inside shuttering yeah now come into the outside shuttering see this is outside shuttering why because why this height is more and why this height is less because this height is more because it's outside shuttering there's no slab in that so whatever 350 depth we had no that we have put so this overall depth is 350 whereas here it is only 200 because this side your slab is coming but when you cast the slab no up to this top everywhere it will be casted okay clear fine so with this understanding i'll go forward now for me you, here you have to tell me how it has to be done so length is 4.995 so i'll come in the excel sheet i'll do all these things okay so we'll start from this one shattering yeah just observe just concentrate on only one portion So first FB1, okay, what is the size? 200 by 350. What is the length? Length I have taken 4.995, 4.955. Okay, length I have taken. Breadth of the beam, it's mentioned 200. So I have written 0 0.2. Depth is 0 0.35, I have written 0 0.35. Now come to the shattering quantity. Okay, you explain me. I'll do shattering quantity here only. Okay, I can do here, no? Okay, it's not visible. Okay, fine. I'll do the shattering quantity here. And I'll match this value. Okay. First, you tell me how it has to be done. So, plus bracket open. Okay. Wait. Okay. Plus bracket open. First, what is that? Length. Okay. 4.995 multiply by width. Always remember, length multiply by width will give me bottom. So, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bottom is done. Plus, now you find the outside shuttering. Again, for outside shuttering, what is the length? Length is again 4.995 into depth will be overall depth. That is a total depth. Total depth we have 0.35. Multiply that. Fine. Now, plus open bracket you have to take the inside shuttering this becomes my inside shuttering this becomes my inside shuttering but for inside shuttering you see the dimension your dimension is not four nine four nine five five your inside shuttering will be from this part to this part only this part so how much it is 4.55 so what you do you just come to the excel sheet and write 4.555 and this you multiply by how much overall depth not overall depth only overall depth minus the slab thickness so how do you do you have to manually calculate otherwise you can do in excel sheet also but instead of that you just keep in your mind 0 0.35 is the overall depth minus slab thickness is 0 0.15 0 0.35 minus 0 0.15 is 0 0.2 you just multiply this by 0 0.2 and close the bracket then your answer will be ready how much i got yeah you see here 3.65 something i got i'll yeah see yeah how much i got 3.658 and how much I got here? Same thing I got. Okay. Got it. So in this way, you're supposed to do the calculation. Okay. Yeah. Again, I'll delete this. So in this way for entire beam I've done, it's a time consuming process, but you have to do. Okay. If you get any confusion in this part, no, you just oh, mail me or just ask me a question. I'll help you out. Okay. Fine. Now I'll teach you some complicated part. Okay. FB1. Uh, FB2 is also similar. I'll go with FB2. It will take some time, but let me cover each of them. Okay. Now come to the FB2. FB2, can you find me the shuttering? Again, very simple. See this length you find first. It's outside length 1527. And this is inside one. Okay. Fine. Now you just, I'll quickly explain how it has to be done. First, I want bottom. For bottom, this entire thing I'll be doing. Okay. My bottom will be up to this length. Okay. So what will be the length? Exactly. 1527 into breadth that is 0.2 done plus 1527 into overall depth this will be outside shuttering here okay plus now you come come with the inside one that is 1327 into inside so there is a slab coming see here s2 is a slab coming so slab thickness is 150 
and FB2, the depth is 350. So 350 minus 150 is 200. So it comes out to be this much. So again, I've done the same thing here for FB2. See, 1.327, no? This was 1.327. I've written 1.327 into 0 0.2. Again, this is E47 means this part. That is 1.527 multiplied by overall depth. This is outside shuttering. And this is my beam bottom. Okay, got it? So in this way, you're supposed to take care of that. So I did FB1, FB2. FB3. Now FB3, can you explain me? Yeah, this is FB3. So quickly explain me how you are going to do FB3. Again, I'll take the dim this part, dimension part. Fine. Tell me. First, exactly. 4750 into breadth you are going to do. You'll get the bottom shattering. Good. Next. Next, always remember outside shattering will do. Outside shattering, if it is there, only then will do. Again, you see this particular beam, we don't have slab here. So, Again, 4750 into overall depth. You'll get to, that will give you the outside shuttering. Fine. Now, very interesting is that this part. See, in this particular beam, this particular length, you have a slab in this way, you have a slab here. But both the slab thickness is same, so no confusion. But what will be the length? So, length, what you do? Length, you take overall length. See, this is, you have two options. Either you measure in this way, because here, no shuttering will come, okay? Because it is a secondary beam. Again, you have to take from here to here. This is one way of finding. Other way of finding is 4750 is overall length. From that, if you deduct 0 0.2, you'll get you'll get 4550. Again, you see 3000 plus 1550 will give me 4550. Okay, getting my point? Yeah. Now, inside shuttering, what will happen? You can merge this or you can break it like 1550 into 0 0.25. Why 0 0.25? Not 0 0.25, 0 0.2. Okay, anyhow, I'll do it. Just in case if you have confusion, no? I'll do it. I'll go with FB3. Concentrate. I've written 4.750. This is 4.750. Okay. Um, so quickly tell me what all things will happen. I'll write here. So remember the answer. It is 3 point. I'll do it here only. So that we can verify the answer. Open bracket. First you tell me. Yeah. 4.750 multiply by breadth. So beam bottom is done. Good. Plus outside shattering. Again 4.750 multiply by overall depth. Overall de depth is how much? 0 0.35. Close the bracket. Plus, open the bracket. You have two options. You can directly take the length as 4.550. That is 4750 minus 200 you take. You take 4550. That you can do. If you don't want to go in that way, you already broken the length, no? Broken the length here. So you just take this length and then take this length. That also you can do. We'll follow that only. So 1550. So 1.550 into okay into i have to do no because here shuttering will happen but it will be inside shuttering so if it is inside shuttering what is the depth it is overall depth is how much 0 0.35 minus 0 0.15 so it is 0 0.2 close the bracket plus again open the bracket what is the remaining length the remaining length this is how much 3000 so again 3000 that is 3 into 0 point how much 2 isn't it and close the bracket verify the answer how much i got 3.52, 3.523 I got and see here, here also I got 3.523, got it? So in this way, you're supposed to carry out the calculations, okay? Now, we I explained to you FB1, I explained to you FB2, expl, F, FB3, FB4 is also done. FB5, you can do on your own, it's very simple, why? In FB5, you see, yeah, this FB5 is a case of in both the inside shattering, why? If you check here, check here, what will happen? See, beam bottom you can do, but here also we have slab. In this part also we will have a slab. That means when I find the shuttering on this side and when I find the shuttering on this side, both the sh shuttering height, whatever is the overall depth, for that I need to detect slab thickness. Okay. And yeah, FB5 also I'll explain you so that most of the cases we can cover. Again, for FB5, I'll teach here. Plus, open bracket. Okay. FB5, length is 4.55. You multiply this by width. Okay. Bottom is done. Plus bracket open. Bracket open. Again, length is 4.55 into. Now, what is the depth? It's an inside shuttering, no? This side I'm doing now, inside shuttering. So, depth is, overall depth is how much? FB5, overall depth is 400. So, 400 minus 0 0.15. How much it will be? 0 0.25. See, always remember, yeah, 0 0.25. Always remember, that uh, what, what is the overall depth? Previously it was 350, 
so i was writing 350 minus 0 0.15 0 0.2 but here the depth is 400 now so 400 minus 0 0.15 or 400 minus 150 is 250 so i written 0 0.25 now this i'll multiply it by 2 why 2 because this part this shuttering and here shuttering both are same because both have inside shuttering and both the slab thickness are same instead of instead of doing it same thing and length is also same so instead of doing it two times i have written multiply it by two and hit the enter button how much you got yeah you can see the answer no wait yeah i got 3.185 in front of you and already you can see here i have written 3.185 same thing i've done it here see here i've done it in this way okay so in this way try to do this it will be a very long calculation but anyhow finally you should get this answer total first floor beam shuttering should be 142.867 square meter okay this answer you should get even if you get 140 or even if you get 145 so it doesn't matter even if, because it's shuttering a you know, slight mistake you may do i know that you will do but if you get the exact answer it's correct but even though you get an answer in the range of let us say 138 to 145 also then it is correct no matter doesn't matter because slight mistake you might have done not an issue you are okay with that it's a slight uh, error we are getting since it's a quantity estimate it's okay we are just estimating the nearest quantity that we are going to get in actual okay fine so up to here i have explained you the concept but after this there are few other beams where they are a bit complicated when i say complicated for example uh, this here there is a sunken slab okay and also here there is a cutout and all see for example this particular beam if i teach you this particular beam uh, i already written it like see uh, all these beams i need to teach you okay i'll teach you fb 11 beam i'll teach you fb 13 fb 14 fb 16 fb 18 and then i'll teach you this fb 37 beams uh, all these beams i'll teach you so if i all these are different cases so if you learn this you will never go wrong anywhere in the quantity estimation okay so we'll see you back in the next lecture try to prepare it up to here okay the excel sheet it will take time but you have to do it okay fine